بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد هبت في الله realizing taking your Islam in stages Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created us for the purpose of worshipping him Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says في كتاب الكريم وما خلقت الجن والإنس اللي عبدون I have not created mankind in the jinn except for the purpose of worshipping me letting us know our divine purpose the mu'min has a purpose never feel without a purpose your purpose seek more knowledge on how to worship Allah alone and seek forgiveness from Allah because we all have shortcomings the Prophet ﷺ said كل ابن آدم خطى وخير خطائين توابون all the children of Adam make mistakes and the best of those who sin are those who repent so repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala often because we all have mistakes and we all have taqseer and taqseer and those mistakes are an illustration of uh, shortcomings in our tawheed so strive your best to come closer to your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala ahabatifillah Knowing our position and our status with regards to our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala, as I mentioned, gives us a, a purpose. It gives us a goal that the believer, although may get occupied with things in this dunya, the believer should never despair, should never give up hope. And this should give the believer a type of confidence that yes you're going to be strained sometimes in this dunya the prophet ﷺ mentioned that the, the the people of the sunnah that they will be strange so give glad tidings to glad tidings to the strangers as alayhi salatu wasalam said so it might be a strange path you might feel odd you might feel not always at ease and things might be difficult sometimes to practice but remain steadfast on the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and fear Allah as much as you can fear Allah as much as you can and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil